Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Hell. So, let's talk about sound starvation. So, I have um, experienced that extended sound listening sessions have a tendency of making sound stick on the memory. So, you know, me personally, I get listening fatigue. I also heard this from, from friends. So, that when you have these long sessions and you have many sessions, uh, many times a week and if it's not you know um, let's just say it's on top of that it, it's gear that's not necessarily very good it has a tendency of kind of you know not wanting you to listen to uh, to music so in order to fix the problem I just generally try uh, to not listen to very much music and when I then uh, listen to it, I listen to it in small dosages, in low volume. On And then I, you know, on top of that, I, I then get used to listening to lower end systems. Because this kind of trains me to uh, not stay at a high level. Because if you're constantly exposed to a high level of, of sound, uh, it kind of corrupts your... Um, I I feel I definitely feel personally this might be different from people to people but um, I feel that it kind of corrupts your mind and leaves you um, in a state of just not being satisfied with anything you know um, it it can be a very good thing short term but it can also make you quite miserable because everything else just sounds so horrible so I I just try to do that that I only once in a while listen to a, uh, like my own system, my, my own good system, but try to get used to just minimizing sound, not having it at, at a high level, not being exposed to it for a long time. Like for example, when I was at work, I would just be exposed to so many sounds because I constantly had people sitting around me, you know, it's like call center, we're a hundred people in the room, sales department is right next to us, they're running their Sonos uh, wireless sound while we're trying to talk to our customers, everything's a bit hectic, you know, it just, you know, situations like that just makes you stressful and then, you know, you probably go out and then you smoke and uh, and then you listen to I don't know uh, Dr. Dre on on your Beats uh, headphone uh, while you're you know quickly trying to eat your 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 food at work and then you go back to your um, place again and you have to talk to more customers over the phone. It just that exposure to sound creates a lot of stress. So. Um, that's what I try to do. I, I try to minimize that stress. That's also like. Um, it's also one of the reasons why when I take a job, choose a job, I, I don't usually take a job where it involves me being in the city, being overexposed to to um, a lot of sounds, being in traffic. You, you just want to generally reduce stress on all parts of the body, not just the ears, to be able to enjoy something more. And um, yeah, like I said here, reducing the use of cheap headphones, cheap um, earphones, or they can also be cheap but still high quality. J just kind of reducing that pressure on your ears, not having something on your ears constantly. Uh, it, it also, you know, for people that, that are supporters and work in customer service and sales department and stuff like that, just, just the fact that you have something constantly on your ears irritates you you know it, it kind of you know in a way you want to escape work and go home and listen to music but in another way you've been exposed to so much sound over, over so many hours that it can still be a bit irritating listening to music so when I was at work what I usually would do is I would not listen to uh, music uh, in the daytime or uh, what do you call those work days I would usually do it in the weekends when uh, I did not work I just found that that would make me you know sleep more properly I would be less exposed to to all kinds of things and then you know I would then treat myself as 
uh, you know, like like you treat yourself with having a dessert or maybe only once a week or something like that. It just became a thing that was more special, like your reward. But if you reward yourself every day with listening to music, it kind of cheapens the, the effect of, of the good stuff that you want to enjoy in life. So, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's the principle of less is more. It's a bit like... Um, I also experienced myself that when I had constantly, you know, stuff that I ate, snacks, desserts, stuff like that, or like ate an, uh, a big ice cream before I went uh, over to listen to some music, I just generally wasn't really fully relaxed and, and there and present, you know. I felt that, you know, I, I listened to music, I, I enjoyed music a lot better when I was usually just, starving just a tiny bit you know and was stretching my meals and did not have the snack did not have the the dessert it just sort of like um made it a bit better but yeah then again when i visited some friends we then had perhaps like a, a little like like one tenth of a shot of whiskey or something like that but th that also to some degree made me enjoy music more but if i was at that level where I would do that every time I listen to music. It would then destroy the listening experience for me. So a lot of things that I thought that perhaps you could use so you can more easily relax and enjoy your sound and just generally enjoy life. So yeah, that's me logging off. Have a nice day.